Hey, Nicole here from Shape It Up Fitness, and I am coming to you live again <laughs> because the last live show that I did about 25 minutes ago, uh, I don't think went through. So um, I was doing the live show on my phone and probably some spammer, because I get a lot of spam calls, <laughs> um, called me on my phone. So I don't know if that messed up the live feed or not. So I am coming to you again. Um, hopefully this will record and it's live. So if you are on live and you could give me a thumbs up that you can hear me and that you're out there, that would be awesome. Um, so that's the beauty of a live broadcast. <laughs> so what I am talking about today is getting ready for July 4th tomorrow and all the parties and all the food that you're going to want to eat tomorrow. Um, so if I didn't introduce myself before, my name is Nicole and I am the personal trainer at Shape It Up Fitness. Um, and I have five tips that are going to help you for tomorrow for July 4th. All right, so before we get into the tips, I just want to let you know that I have a couple openings for a online program that I am doing. It's called Turn Your Life Around in Six. And I'm very excited about it because I really feel like it's life-changing. Um, it's not your typical program. And if you're interested in finding out more about it, you can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, -L, and you can request a phone consult with me. There's no charge for the phone consult. Um, there's no obligation whatsoever. We can just chalk, talk, not chalk, talk, and see if that's something you're interested in. All right, so getting into the five tips for the 4th of July. All right, so tip number one, whenever I have a party or I have to go somewhere, um, depending on what time the party starts, usually the earliest they start is like two or three. So what I try to do is in the morning, I will have a my normal breakfast. Now, my normal breakfast is um, egg whites with some sort of vegetable in it and oatmeal and my coffee and my favorite creamer. Um, but you can have whatever you normally eat or whatever, but I tend to kind of keep it the same. And then I will have a protein shake that is a little bit more on the protein side and a little less on the carb side. And the reason why that is, is because usually at parties, there are a lot of carbohydrate choices. Now I'm not saying carbs are bad or good. Um, I think you definitely need carbs in your diet. But if you load up on the protein a little bit more, you'll be able to have a little bit more wiggle room, I feel, in the party. Um, all right, so number two, make sure you bring your own dish. So you can make a side dish, you can make a, a main meal dish type thing, like a Tupperware or a casserole, um, and a dessert. These two things will save you when you're at the party because you have no control over what you're eating or what you're exposed to. Um, and when you make it yourself, you can make it a little healthier. Don't tell anybody it's healthy because nobody else will eat it. But a lot of times the hostess will be more than happy to accept any more food. Um, if they're a gracious host, hostess, they will. <laughs> but um, feel free to bring your own food and then you know you have something, your go-to, your fallback. Make sure it's something that you like to, like to eat. All right, so number three is um, if you don't bring anything to the party, that's okay. You can eat whatever you want and you can still lose weight and lose the inches. Um, this is one of the things I really stress with my clients. I don't want to have my clients food logging for the rest of their lives. I want you to be able to sit down in front of your favorite foods and be comfortable and not feel overwhelmed when you make decisions. If you are interested in finding out how I do that, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call and request your consult. Um, but so the important part is when you're at a party is to make sure you're hungry, first of all, um, and make sure you stop eating when you're comfortably full. This can be very challenging when you are around friends and family and you're chit-chatting and you're talking and everybody's having a good time and you're really not focused on what you're eating. So make sure you're kind of in tune with your stomach as you go through this party. Number four, watch out for peer pressure. Those lovely family and friends of yours are going to um, kind of peer pressure you into eating foods that you may or may not want to eat. I know it sounds very high schoolish, but it is totally true. You're going to feel some sort of pressure to eat something or, 
or if you're not eating something, why they might ask you, why are you not eating that type of food? It is none of their business what you decide you want to do. Okay. So you have your own goals. You have your own choices. You are the one on your fitness journey, not anybody else. Doesn't matter what they want you to do. It's what you want to do. All right. Number five is you always have a choice. You always have a choice in what you're eating. You always have a choice whether you want to work out. I do recommend doing a workout before you go out to the holidays <laughs> um, for your party. But you always have a choice. And you are either getting closer to your goals or you're getting further away from your goals. So be conscious of that and make sure you make good choices. All right, so those are my five tips for the 4th of July. I'm going to recap them real quick. So beforehand, make sure you eat your breakfast and have a, like a protein shake or a small meal before you go to the party. Um, bring a dish that you enjoy. Uh, definitely a dessert dish if you're a sweetie, like you like sweets. Um, number three is you can eat stuff at the party and still lose weight. Um, don't freak yourself out. Number four is watch out for peer pressure. And number five is you always have a choice. So be very aware of that. All right. So if you need a jump start and you would like to have me help you, go ahead over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, -L, and I'll be happy to set up a consult with you and see if we're a good fit. All right. That is all for me today. Have a wonderful July 4th. All through July, I will be I'm aiming to post a live video every day. So make sure you get on the like page of, um, not like the page, like the page of Shape It Up Fitness, and you'll see the next video. All right, take care, and I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful 4th of July. Bye.